good morning a warm good morning to you all i uh, will 11th standard economics chapter 6 distribution analysis the meaning of distribution means how we are dividing the income among the four factors four factor is in the sense a rent to landlord if a land owner is having a land means if anybody is using that land we have to pay the rent for it next the work labor is working means for that labor we have to pay as a wage as a reward we have to pay as a wage next if you are having a capital money if you are investing in the firm means you have to get it as a interest among, along with the uh, what uh, amount you have invested along with that you have to get the interest next entrepreneur if a uh, owner is starting any business means he should get a profit so this this is the four factors how it is the uh, income is distributed how it can be calculated you can be learning in this lesson first we'll go for the uh, kinds of distribution kinds of distribution first one is the personal di distribution personal distribution in the sense a national level how the income is distributed for each individual for each citizens next is a functional distribution in the sense our uh, four factors already i said the four factor land labor capital organization how they are distributed according to the service next is a marginal product theory of distribution this theory is developed by the clark wickseat and wallerus this theory says about or explains about or uh, how the rent wage interest profit are calculated determined this theory is also called as a general theory of distribution and the national dividend theory of distribution to have this theory there will be some assumption will be there first assumption means all the product all the factor of product should be homogeneous that means the same it should be there next uh, it should have a substitute for each other substitute means it should be a similar one exact one should be there when i am using the other product i have to Uh, uh choose other product means that product also should be a similar one exact one it should be there next is it there should be a perfect competition when the firm uh, competitors or firms they are using this product any product is uh, using means the um, the quantity quality whatever the they are using technology it should be same that perfect it should be there next is the perfect mobility that means it should be movable from one places to another place next the full employment of factors all the employees should be employed all will be given a full employment should be there. because they have should have a income then only they'll start uh, buying the product next this theory is applicable for only for the long run that means more than 2 years uh, more than 1 year it should be there when next is a uh, when i am fixing the price government should not come and give the any intervention it should not give any regulation it should be there. the full freedom to fix a price it should be given to the owner that means the entrepreneur firm it should be have next is the technological change no technological change should be there the whatever the technology they are using they should be uh, in between they should not change the technology the explanation of theory is that uh, according to this theory means and that marginal productivity of a theory of distribution means the price is di distributed that is a that means a reward is distributed equally according to the marginal productivity according that means if you are using more means your income is more if you are using less means your income is less next is a marginal product this can be explained or expressed that means if you are using or producing extra additional if you are manufacturing means how much the employer should be employed how many employer should be employed how much raw material should be you have to add it how for each product how you are getting income or what will be the expense that can be expressed using the first one is the marginal physical product mpp that means if you are mpp in the marginal physical product if you are you uh, additional if you are producing means uh, you should use the same employers uh, so uh, number of employees same or if they are working for extra as means what the increment you have to give for that employers 
Next is a value of marginal product VMP. That means the it should be equal VMP it should be formula MPP multiply of price that means marginal physical product multiplied by price that means expenses multiplied with the price how much the employers I am paying for reward I am paying for the uh, employer that should be multiplied with the price that means my expenses should also be uh, included in that after uh, minusing all my expenses only what is left over that is my profit so I have to do this one next is a marginal revenue of product marginal revenue of a product in the sense uh, finally what is left over after meeting all my expenses salary to my employers or expenses for my raw material extra I am producing means uh, how much I am earning profit what is left over meeting all my expenses my left over it is my firm's profit that is what the revenue the formula will be for that MPP multiple of MR that means marginal physical product multiply with the marginal revenue next is a statement of theory that means if the cost of a price that means if you are manufacturing you're producing more means you will earn more income if you earn more income means uh, usually if you are doing extra additional if you are producing means the additional expense also will be there suppose if your revenue is less if your revenue is more suppose your thing any example only so then you will employ the uh, if you if you see the more profit means uh, you will be attracted to see that profit so you will start producing more so if that is the case means uh, expenses will be less income will be more so you'll be attracted to see the profit suppose if your expenses more your profit is less that means the profit is diminishing decreasing means uh, what we have to do means that expenses should be adjusted with my price that means whatever the expenses if expenses more my profit is less means I should adjust with my price to equalize my profit so in short the price should be depend upon the productivity how much I am producing next the price should be equal to the marginal revenue of a product next the price will be equal to the both average and the marginal revenue so this can be explained using the marginal productivity explained using the perfect com if it's a perfect competition means how it will work first one is a x for x axis x x axis of factor of pro unit y axis for the product price mrp is a marginal revenue of product erp is a ra average revenue product afc is a average factor cost MFC is a marginal factor cost here AFC is a horizontal line blue color line on the top you can see the line it should be horizontal line and MFC is a coincide with it. that means both should meet with in the equilibrium point that is a Q point here MFC should be equal to MRP that means expenditure should be equal to profit that's what MFC should be equal to MRP so in the diagram q is a point is equilibrium point equilibrium point this means my expenditure should be equal to my profit that means you achieve the maximum of profit that means o p price using a o n unit here you can see m f c equal to m r p m r p equal to ERP that means all the factor of producing meeting at the Q point there is a point you have achieved the maximum of profit here no exploitation of factor in the perfect competition in beyond the Q point you won't manufacture you won't produce because the price paid is more that means the expense will be more the revenue will be less so you won't produce more you'll stop producing in that point only you won't go beyond the Q point next uh, we'll go for using this theory in the imperfect competition see this is a diagram for imperfect competition imperfect competition here AFC 
increasing that means a blue color curve that means average factor of cost is increasing means uh, mfc also should be increased dot dot line also should be increasing but it should be above the afc it should not be below the afc it should be above the afc should be there here q is a point where mfc should be equal to mrp that means q is a point a maximum point the firm is achieved so here the employer will stop producing won't go beyond that one so here you can see n r s o cost paid that means expenses n q p o is a revenue that is your income here the total exploitation is r q multiply of s r that means that is equal to p q r s that is shaded area so for this theory there also will be the a criticism some criticism there for this theory first one in reality they we cannot find a homogeneous product the second one is that there will we we cannot find the exact substitute for each other because each firm is producing different they wanted to show different with each other they wanted to uh, identify in a different way exact substitute of a product cannot be find in the industry next one is this theory is applicable only for the long run if i want to apply this theory in my firm i have to wait for one year or two year to see the result so this can be applicable only for the long run not for the short term so this is what about the a marginal productivity theory both in the perfect competition and in the imperfect competition